Hi, my name is Guy Dumas. I'm an entrepreneur, an indigenous economist, and an adult learning facilitator. Thank you for joining me today. The greatest opportunity that's occurring right now is this wealth transfer that's happening right now. And I'm here to help, help you with positioning yourself on the right side of this wealth transfer. I encourage you to download the PDF of your new ATM system that's attached to this learning lesson here and we'll proceed to spend most of our time looking at that model. The first thing I would like you to notice is the seven grandfathers or the seven teachings that's on the on the vertical line or the line that's kind of sloped and you'll notice that at the bottom of that um, line is courage. We talked about courage as the foundation in order to move ahead with the idea that you're going to have the courage to be able to address the issues that you have with money and currency. And as you proceed to develop this relationship with money and currency, you will end up at the top of this uh, line, which is love. However, it could go further than that. It could go to peace and it could go to enlightenment. I encourage you to spend some time thinking about how these grandfathers can help you enhance better uh, perhaps make things a lot more easier for you to engage your relationship with money. When I think about these grandfathers, I always try and, and start from courage. If I'm feeling a little bit nervous about either a bill I'm paying or if I'm getting low on funds or if something's happening in, with my relationship with money, I start with courage and I begin to address the issues that are inside of me. I'm the only one that knows what's going on. You're the only one that knows what's going on when you're engaging the ideas of money and currency. According to Dr. Dave Hawkins, courage calibrates at 200. And this is where you begin to grow or develop or evolve as a human being. And when it calibrates at 200, uh, beneath that, is what I call your addiction to poverty. You know, for a long time I didn't admit that, that I was perhaps addicted to poverty and underneath that is the gardening mindset and the gardening mindset is based on the idea of digital aboriginal. If you want to look up that book, it's a very good book that I've referenced as part of this model that I've created. And one of the things that are beneath the calibration of 200 is oppression. We know we have a lot of internalized oppression within Native community or within the broader society as well. And that when you're oppressed, someone owns your time. Someone can dictate your time. And when someone dictates your time, you have less choice. You have less life. Moving all the way up to love, which calibrates at about 500 here, you're addicted to wealth. And there's nothing wrong with being addicted to wealth. In fact, that's the most preferred state that you could have because when you are addicted to wealth, so many things change, you, you view the world differently. You have more of a nomadic mindset. And again, this comes from Digital Aboriginal and you could look it up. And when you have this type of mindset, you have a whole sense of freedom that's very different from the way that you have felt before. And when you own your own time, things look very differently. You uh, tend to use your time the way that you want to use it. And you have more choice and more life as you proceed. As we proceed with the chart on the left hand side in the bottom is poverty. This is the poverty mindset that I talked about being addicted to poverty. And usually pe people uh, in this category between poverty and basic living they spend 100% on spending on whatever it is that they have, whatever it is that they desire. They go out there and spend, spend, spend. And there's absolutely no savings or investment of any kind. When you move towards sufficiency and abundance, that's when you begin to think about the, the ratio of 10, 10, 10, 70. And what that means is that you invest 10% you give away 10% and you save 10% and the rest of the 70% is what you live on. And this is the idea of most of the people that live with the abundance mindset. 
and these are the people that know how to handle their relationship with money. There's a real difference between the pond and the ocean. The pond is just, as you know, just a little bit of water here and there. It doesn't really make a difference in your life. However, when you go into the ocean, then you know that you're with, with water. And when you think about life itself, sometimes we uh, look at our life and we think that it's, uh, it's a pond and we make a big deal out of it. However, we know that life is an ocean. Life is, has a lot to offer us and that's the way that we need to think about it. And when we live in a pond, we have a lot of doubt. We doubt ourselves about what we could do, what we're capable of, what our gifts are. And when we live in an ocean, we know that there's a lot of hope. We have a sense of hope of how things could be. I, I read somewhere that the most dangerous person in a room or in the world is a person that doesn't have any hope. Moving on to the teachings of the turtle, the turtle can move in any direction, up, down, sideways, crossways, can move in any direction, is not, uh, is not stopped by any boundaries or lines, and, and, and can sit anywhere. Of course, you're the one that can determine where that turtle ends up. And each, each part of the turtle has specific teachings. And if I can quickly summarize, the head it represents the spirit. The right leg, if you're looking at the, at the image, the right upper leg is the beliefs. The bottom right leg is the identity. The tail is the capability. The left bottom leg is the behavior. The left upper leg is the environment. And of course the body, the center of the body is where everything happens. So I'm here to say that it's not, it, it, it's not easy when it comes to engaging money and currency. Believe me, I've had my share of issues and troubles and problems and, 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 I, con and I continue to have these issues, problems and challenges. However, now that I have this framework, I'm more easily able to engage money and currency in a more effective manner than I have ever in my life before. I say this not to say that it's the solution to your relationship with money and currency. This is a start. This is a lifelong process. It's taken you a lifetime to get to where you are today with your relationship with money, whether it's uh, healthy, whether it's productive, efficient, or whether it's bad, or it's uh, dragging you down, or all the different crazy things that happen when we engage money and currency. I thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this video here. In the next video, I'm going to invite you to a, um, a customized individual coaching program, and I'll go into detail of what that offer is. If you've liked everything that I've talked about so far, then I'd like to offer you an opportunity to work with me on this, uh, on this model that I've created to help us um, create a better relationship with money and currency. Until we meet again, I encourage you to email me at storyjacket at gmail.com. I'd like to en engage you. I'd like to have a dialogue with you on these ideas that I've shared with you. Please contact me.